Hello there, and as you can see from the title, of course, this is my review for Black Blood Brothers. If you haven't heard of it, then you might as well hear this story. If if you just want to see my review and get on with it, you can skip this part or just stay, whatever. I mean, I don't think this anime is that popular anyways, so... Okay. I'm gonna read what it's about, basically. Ten years after the Holy War in Hong Kong, Mochizuki Jiro, aka the Silver Blade, and the lone hero who fought and defeated the Kaolan children, despite the loss of his lover, the loss of his lover returns to Japan with his young brother, Mo Mochizuki Kotaro. The two quickly discover discover the Kaolan children who su who survived the holy war and are seeking to infiltrate the special zone a thriving city protect protected by the invisible barrier that will not allow Kalan children entrance okay that's as far as i'm going to read because this summary is pretty long i'd say well, not that long but i'm just i just i'm just feeling lazy right now okay so basically, it was just 12 episodes of vampires and some blood. Not a whole lot of comedy, but it's still considered comedy. Well, oh well. Um, well, at least it was still a good anime. That's all I have to say for right now, but okay. Okay, so basically, the main character, who it shows on the covers all the time, and almost no one else, because I got the DVD in, in the save collection, of course, because that was the cheapest I saw it, and I, and I wanted to get the box set because it was completely black, and, and the art I thought was really amazing, but okay, let's just move on to the characters. Okay, so it, so the main character, Jiro, who has a... Okay, um, he's like the main character who's the vampire, and he, ha and he used to have a girlfriend who, like, passed away and stuff. So, yeah. And then, Kotaro, who is almost one of my favorite characters. For one thing, um, I will not say a spoiler about him that comes towards the end. I was just about to. Okay, so, um... Basically, yeah, he's, um, he's really young, and he's basically Jiro's little brother, and he's the second brother in, in the whole thing, so, yeah. And then, someone who's not even related to them, that I cannot even remember their name. Well, I know that Kotaro called her Nini and stuff like that, or Mini, I don't know. Mimi, I don't know, really. And then there's this girl named Wong, apparently. The only thing I know about her is that she's played by Monica Ryle. So, yeah. And, um, the only people I, I know who were, who were played by someone is Kotaro was played by Leah Clark and What's her face? Was played by um Colleen Klingbeard and I don't know anyone else barely except for that one kid who got his face smashed in later. Yes, that was a spoiler. Deal with it. Okay, so I'm um, whatever. Anyways, so yeah. So that was all I had to say about the characters, so yeah. Okay, so the ending song was okay. The opening song was great. Not, well, by music, I'm not really meaning just plain out the music, but when I, when I watch openings, I'm mostly listening to the music than watching anything else a lot of the times. Even though 
something that would show is really amazing with the show. show. But rather than watching or listening, I'd have to go with really listening because it really just showed not a whole lot of special things, in my opinion. So that's basically it about the opening. The ending song was apparently, I don't know, one of the saddest songs you could ever hear in any anime. Well, it's pretty sad, but I wouldn't say like, Oh my gosh, it's so freaking sad. Almost as sad as the ending to Angel Beats, which a lot of people have cried at. So, yes, I'm not making fun of anyone who's cried during Angel Beats. Because honestly, I kind of cried. Okay, so that's basically it for the opening and ending. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm now that I just officially done one of the almost gayest things I just did, that, since I'm done with that stuff, um... Now let's just move on to the last thing. Basically, just the rest. I called it. And I would give it probably an 8 out of 10 because it's really good. So I have nothing about the I have nothing to say about the rest of it. So yeah. And I would recommend buying it before, well, I would recommend you watch it before you decide to buy it. Because the thing about it is, like, if you try to buy something like this, you, you would really have to, you would really want to see something kind of like this before you even start to watch this, I think, because, well, I don't know, you, you would either have to watch something like this before you get it, or just plain out watch it, before you get it, because you, you really want to know what will have to happen with this, because if, because the thing about this anime is, some things just get way out of, well, some things just happen completely out of nowhere that you will not expect with this anime. I'm serious. You will not expect anything. Actually, never mind that. Because, of course, when you've never seen it. So that was... I was joking that time, so anyway. I would recommend seeing it before you watch it. So, yeah, bye.